The edge joining foot is one of the most popular and widely used feet available for your sewing machine. It makes it'll do anything from edge stitching to stitch in the ditch to heirloom sewing easier. Uh, the center bar, if you'll notice up close that there is a center bar. This center bar is the perfect guide for fabric edges. Unlike the uh, blind hem uh, foot, where that center bar extends into the uh, into the uh, needle hole, the edge joining foot's bar stops just before the hole, making it easier to uh, stitch any stitch on your sewing machine with this foot. It has a few marks on on the side of the foot. It has a few marks on the side of the foot, and the center one is even with your with your needle and these marks actually make it easier for to, you to align things uh, like if you're aligning lace one side to the other then it helps you to align the pieces together um, actually it's great for sewing on lace it's great for stitch in the ditch edge stitching there are a lot of things you can do in fact you can use even your decorative stitches with it uh, this is actually one of the most versatile of all the feet the edge joining foot is typically used for joining two pieces of fabric together by butting them together, one flat, one against the other. The blade usually lies in the center. And I'm going to set up my machine for the default zigzag, for the regular zigzag, with the normal settings of 3.5 millimeter width and a 1.4 millimeter length. And I am just placing the blade be, uh, I'm putting the fabric on either side of this blade and thereby therefore allowing me to perfectly stitch these two pieces of fabric or the fabric and the lace together I'm just keeping this edge butted against this ed the, uh, the left edge against the left edge of the blade the right edge against the right edge of the blade And you can see this fabric, these two fabrics are joined together very nicely. This is typically done in heirloom sewing. Okay, this is using the edge joining foot in order to stitch in the ditch for doing machine quilting. So all you do is you take the little blade that goes down the middle and you line it up with your seams or the line you want to stitch and here is one of the issues I have with the edge joining foot because the nose I don't know if you can see it but it, because the nose on this foot is squared Here's the problem I have because the the nose on this blade, the guide in the middle, is square. It tends to get caught whenever you have uneven depths of fabric. So I just raise my presser foot a little and just hopped right over it. So as you can see, the stitching is almost invisible. We're going to use this edge joining foot in order to create edge stitching. And what edge stitching is, is it's stitching along the edge of a seam or a fold in order to stabilize that particular seam. It can also be used to create a permanent crease along, say, the front of your, uh, your slacks. Uh, it's different than top stitching. Top stitching, the stitch length is a little longer. Edge stitching is shorter than top stitching. Top stitching is a little bit longer stitch length, usually three millimeters or longer, where a edge stitching is normally just a normal stitch length, like two to two and a half to three 
millimeters long. And what it is, is it's used to just stabilize. So anyway, what I'm going to use is my my uh, left needle position, which is the default stitch on the baby locks. And it's going to stitch in left needle position, but you can move that needle wherever you desire that stitching to show. Right now I'd have it at 0, 0.0 millimeters and I'm aligning the fold of the fabric with this center bar. Okay, and then I can, like I said, to get a really tiny edge stitch, I'm probably going to move it at one and a half millimeters, which is going to make it right on the edge. And here it gives you a nice, accurate, there's your there is your edge stitch which is at zero and then here it is closer to the fold. The Hong Kong seam is one of the most elegant seams out there. It's actually used on high-end couture uh, clothing it is actually a wrapped seam. So whenever you're 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 cutting your pattern for a Hong Kong seam, you leave a one inch seam. It is perfect for finishing a um, an unlined jacket. So I'm gonna this is I'm going to use a combination of stitches. I'm going to use my machine and center needle position, and I'm going to use my quarter inch patchwork work foot, and I'm going to sew a one inch strip to the edge of a seam. When I'm done, I'm going to press open that seam, or press open that bias, wrap it to the other side, and now I'm going to put the edge joining foot on. Again, I'm going to be using a center needle position because this guide down the center of this edge joining foot is going to show me exactly where to stitch. It's called stitching in the ditch. So I'm going to place the I'm going to place the bar, the guide bar in the center, right down the middle of the seam, and I'm going to sew it. See, I'll, now I'll do the same thing for the uh, seam on the other side of the garment. Usually fine silk bias strips are used for this. And here, even though I have black thread on, on the, in the needle, it's very hard to see it. And see on the back, it catches and it's encasing the raw edges of the seam. At this point, you would put your garment right sides together. And I'm just going to, I would use a regular foot for this, but I would sew the seams together using a one inch seam allowance which is about right there even though I'd probably switch to the uh, regular foot and here's what it would look like with the pre seams pressed open it's very neat and very professional. It is the perfect seam finish to use for an unlined jacket or any type of unlined clothing.
why a rolled hem would be a, is a quick and easy method for finishing the edge of fine fabrics. There are times where perfection is is important, especially when you've spent uh, say twenty, thirty dollars on a piece of fine batiste or fine piece of linen or silk. Then you want to do a what I call a designer hem. And a designer hem is actually a rolled hem, but it's done with the edge stitch foot. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to press under about a 3 8 to a half inch uh, hem on the uh, to the wrong side. You're going to take your edge stitch foot and we're going to take set it up on on the left needle position but I'm going to move the needle to approximately a 1.0. I don't want it all the way to the end. I want it right close to the edge. And actually I'm going to 1.5 is where I want it to go. I want and I'm going to use the edge of this guide. Get in close to it. I'm going to use the this guide bar to put my fabric right up against that guide bar. See, it does a really tiny, tight, tight stitch right near the edge. I'm going to take a pair of scissors, and applique scissors work really well, and I am going to cut very close to this edge. Almost right on it. And I'll do this off camera to save time. Okay, now I have trimmed away the back, the excess seam, and leaving an extremely tiny hem. And I'm going to turn this hem under again, place it under the needle, use the same setting I had before to edge stitch this, to edge stitch this tiny tiniest of hems. This is wonderful on sheer fabrics or on fine silks, fine linens, lightweight fabric. Now you can also do this with say a wool or a heavyweight fabric. You're just going to want to make your seam a little wider than this or your hem a little wider than this. And look at this totally perfect, super tiny seam, hem. Doesn't get any more perfect than this.